Hello everyone. While we're working on the other projects, I thought I'd do something completely off kilter. Got this little kit at a flea market for about five bucks. Now, I've built ships and bottles before, but I thought this would be a great way to show everyone out there how it's done. And here's the kit. It comes with a bottle and a cork. A little stand for the bottle to sit on. And yes, that's a glass bottle. And a pre-made boat with all pieces and all that. Now, that's a little boring, so I'm going to modify this baby and we're going to build it up as something a little bit more oh, I'm just gonna add to it because I want to <laughs> and I can't ever leave well enough alone does that have enough rivets on it oh geez so it's got a pre-carved hull which isn't bad but we're gonna clean it up a little bit and see that the bow is offline so this is much steeper than this side. So we'll clean that up. We'll give it more of a rounded look. I'm gonna add a stern castle to it and I'll probably put rails on and I'll have a forecastle and a sprit. This does not call for any of those. It comes with two masts already made and wire for hinging, but we're gonna modify those. We're gonna keep the sails as is. And it's even got a tiny little American flag here. Little, little, little tiny flag. But it's not even a full flag. It's missing part. So we got a tiny little flag and a half. So <laughs> we'll fiddle around with all that. Now it comes with a couple of tools. It comes with a pair of bamboo tweezers, which... All in all, aren't bad. They're nice, but not what I would use. And it comes with a molding stick. The stick is used to put the C into the bottle. So put the C down and tap it in. The C itself, hmm, sharp edge on that. The C itself is made out of this special do not eat plasticine. Basically, blue putty. So, but in doing shit, there's instructions in here, but we're not going to go by those. Although I do like the little magnetic box. I'm going to make use of that. But I'm going to show you some of the tools that I have made. Because if you actually do get into shipbuilding, in mo model shipbuilding in bottles, you're gonna end up making your own tools because the tools don't exist anywhere. So this is a pair of tweet or a pair of tongs that I've made. They are controlled by a wooden slider on the back. Basically, it slide if it, as it slides out, they come apart. As I pull them in, they tighten and lock in whatever's in between the two plates there. I have another little clamp that's controlled on the back here. So basically all I need all I can do is all I do is I can use this to hold pieces in place grab strings and things like that. I have what are called folding brushes. So it's basically just a brush on the end of a stick with a pivot in it. So I can push this into the bottleneck and then when I'm inside, when I'm ready to paint, I can just pull on this line here and it will bring the paintbrush down and I can paint with it. Then when I'm ready to come back out of the bottle, I can straighten it back out 
and pull it out without touching the bottle. So, and then there are other things, you know, just flattened wire pieces for helping to shape the water. These are um, heavy copper wires that have been flattened to the ends. Um, uh, long hooks. So these are basically just shapeable hooks that I can use to reach in and grab string, untangle things, that sort of stuff. Uh, there's another pair of, this is a rotating set, so I can rotate and hold things like this. Can't quite get the get the light on it, so but the tip rotates to hold. And then of course just oh, long hemostats, long tweezers, things like that. So Let's go ahead and get started with what we have here. Now, the rule of ships in a bottle is the bottle never gets opened, okay? We, they don't cut the back off and re-glue it. There isn't a seam on the bottle, anything like that. Everything you build goes through the neck of the bottle, like that. Oops, helps if I put it in camera. It goes through the neck of the bottle. So all your measurements have to be made that way. So if I put a stern castle on here, I've got to make sure there's clearance for that castle to be put on the back. Same way with the bow. So I'll probably lower this, this hole just a bit. And like I said, we're going to round it out and stuff like that. So, also, this, do, this is built on the hinge premise. So, the hinge premise is simply this. Your masts have a hole in them. I don't know if we can see that or not. Very tiny little hole. Through which you run wire, like so. Once the wire's through, you basically form it down into a hinge, just like that. So, when this goes into the boat, like so, the mast will fold down. And then, when it, everything's in there, the mast folds back up and it's already inside the bottle. So you want things to fold down and then come back up. Now, we'll show you the trick to that, but we're gonna go ahead and get to work. And um, as always, I'll go ahead and stop chalking now and I'll put in information on the areas that are important. So let's go ahead and zoom our camera in just a bit to get ourselves lined up. So I know I need to work here. <laughs> oh, and it also came with thread. So that's the other important thing. You're going to need thread for your rigging. So why don't we go ahead and get started with our little project here. And uh, I'll be back in a few minutes and we'll talk it over and see where we're at.
first things first, let's get this mess cleared up so we can get some more work done, shall we? All right, hang tight. And there we are. We have our ship, we have our bottle, we have our cork. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add the C. To do the C, we use Sculpey. We don't need to bake it, it doesn't matter. So I've got two colors here I'm gonna mix up to make a C color, and then we're gonna place it in the, in the bottle, and then we'll uh, get it all set for the acceptance of our ship. Alrighty, so, well, we're gonna go ahead and get started on that, so. Hold tight, here we go. That's our C. So as you can see, we've uh, textured it nicely. Um, you're always going to have some of the, you can, you can try to stop this um, blobbing, but you know, it's six of one. Um, it takes a lot more time to make sure you don't have blobs, but once you've got your base connected, it's very rare that the ship will be inverted. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to slide our vessel in, we're gonna press it, and then we're gonna bring it back out and carve a little bit into the sea so that we have a good spot to press. <laughs> Actually, we might not carve it. We might just do a press down uh, a press down means that you basically put it in there and just irk the vessel right into the sea and then we can mold around it. So let's get started with that. So the first thing we're going to do is collapse our ship just like so. As far down as we can get her. So she's collapsed and we very carefully Put her in the tube, just like that, nice and easy. Oh, come on, baby. There she goes, just like that. Now, gonna get a pair of forceps. Set her where I want her. Okay. Oopsie. Now, we can use the same tool we use for shaping to press her down. Now, this is made out of a coat hanger or a clothes hanger. So it's very stiff and hard to bend. It gives it a lot of uh, um, oomph when you're fitting stuff. So, let's get her in there. See if we can't get a good press down. There. Now I'm using the neck of the bottle as a lever. You have to be very careful around your masts. So I'm gonna press, there she goes. Now she's in there nice and tight. Now I'm gonna get a smaller bendable item and we're gonna get in there and we're going to kind of seal her in to the, um, to the boat, or to the uh, sea. So let's, this <clears throat> is a piece of copper wire that I've flattened out. It's very bendable and very shapeable. So 
this will work really nice. Let's just get right in here very carefully. And we'll push the C up against her. This will also create kind of the wake that we, or the bow wave that we want. one side and see if we can get the other one. <clears throat> yeah, be careful, of course, you know, the reason I use this copper wire is because with repeated twisting, it'll break, but I can keep going back on it and getting more Ooh, gonna be a tight fit there. I got her at an angle. Let's see. I can't. Actually, let's try the other end. Shall we? Yeah, that'll work better. When it comes to ships, SIBs, ships and models, you've got to be able to modify your tools on the fly. So using soft uh, metals is really good. I mean, some tools you keep, you know, you, you have for specific purposes, but especially for molding the, the C, you really need to, be able to um, bend them around a bit. <laughs> Let's get her a little more pushed in in the back here. Come on. Down you go, girl. Yeah. That's better. Make sure this side's still good, yep. We haven't thought of a name for the ship yet. Any ideas? Yeah, like or comment below. Give me an idea for the name. Okay. So we got her got her locked in nice and neat. So now let's go ahead and detail our C just a little bit. Okay, we're just gonna take a little basic white paint like so and we're going to use a dry brush method we will take now this is like i said one of those tools that are made specifically i've got two threads on here and what happens is i pull one thread and it'll bend the brush down i pull the other thread 
and it will bend the brush back up, okay? So the main reason that, so I can get the brush in without touching the sides, all right? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a basic light dry brush. So I'm gonna get a little bit of paint on the end of the brush, then I'm gonna brush it off on a paper towel till there's not much left. Okay, then very carefully place the brush in. And once she's in, take our cords Uh oh, gotta be careful. Just like that. All right, we need just a little bit more paint, I think. I don't know how well we can see that, but basically I'm just knocking some paint off onto the highlights or the high points of the waves that I molded in. You don't need to do a lot. Let's set her up right. Now I use the strings to hold her in place. Uh, I need a little bit more paint for that side. There we go. Right. I think that's good enough. 
Let me wash the brush off. I'll be right back. Now comes the moment of truth where we bring our ship out and set her up. So, here we go. Now, I did not, I made a mistake here, which is a good way to show you. So, I measured the boat without the C, I forgot. So, let's see if we can't get our sail or our main mast up right or not. Might have to do some adjustments here. Easy. Easy. There we go, look at that. We are able to get her up there. All right, let's pull all our strings nice and tight. Let's see, where's my hook? Here's my hook. seem to have loosened a knot so what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring the boat back out this is how this is part of this this process sometimes you have to work with what you have so we're gonna bring her back out if we can nice and easy just like that There we go, nice and easy. So let's reset. Now, what's, what is not setting up tight? All right, ah, this knot has loosened right here. That's our problem. There we go, now. Let's go ahead and tap that knot with some super glue. We should have done that before, but I guess we missed it. So. You know, sometimes this happens in the middle of working on your project. Your sails can twist differently or you can slip a knot and that happens. Trick is not to get frustrated and to work it out, work out the problems. So let's see if that helps. All right, nope, all right, so. Here's what we're gonna do. We've got that one. That's a good one right there. So we're gonna replace this rear line. Let's go ahead and glue this right there. So when I pull that, that's gonna be there. All right, so. Okay, good. Now, let's see if we can't adjust this line there, like so. See? So now, 
we're gonna do the same thing. Collapse her down and put her right back where she belongs. Now, try again. Okay, same thing. Oh, where's my hook? Actually, I think we'll try this one. This might be a little bit more lenient on things. Okay, now, once you have your ship rigged and pulled, you loop it like this. That holds it nice and tight while you do the most important part. This is where we're gonna add some glue right to that spar where the string, the rigging comes out. All right, so you want a good amount of glue, not like a ton, but you know, a good glop. And that's the technical term for this, glop. All right, we're just gonna go very carefully and paint that area with our glue. Let it sit for just a moment. Well, while that's sitting, you can go in with your hooks and your lines and adjust things. You know, we want this back here. Be very careful, of course sails to billow. There we go. I want the sails billowing that way. Like so. Bend this a little bit. pushed out that way. There, that's better. Now, we unwind. And we're glued. So now, the only thing left is to nip off your string. And of course, this one wants to be a problem. Actually, I'm gonna use an X-Acto knife. It's close enough to the tip. A new blade is always good when cutting string. We're just gonna go right in there and Oh, well, I'd like to nip. Yep. 
There she goes. Ta-da! There is our ship in a bottle. Now, a couple things for you. Signing your boat. There are different ways. There are two traditionals. One is you would put a sheet of paper under here first with your name, date, and all that sort of stuff. That way it can never be removed. The other way is to sign the bottom of your um, stand. So I am usually sign the bottom of the stand. So let's do that, shall we? Make sure I have a working pen. Amazed how many times I pick up a pen and it's not working. And this is 2024. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put a liberal amount of glue here. And we're just gonna Connector. Like so. Nice and solid. Now, the absolute last bit is our cork. Cork goes in. Now, there's lots of ways to finish this off. A lot of people will use... Um, a Turk's head knot or ropes or something like that. But this is small and what we're gonna do is we're going to seal it with some wax and a wax stamp. So let's do that, shall we? There we go. Just wait a moment. We can clean up any extra wax that we don't want on there, so that's not a big deal. Just like that. There we go. We let it cool. And there is our Compass Rose wax seal. And our ship in a bottle complete. All right, give me a second. We'll give you some beauty shots after I clean the bottle up with a little bit of Windex and a duster and we'll be all done, okay? Be right back. Mm -hmm. 